Hello Chris Blindfurs, welcome to your review for today. Now what I have here is a packet of, well I'm not quite sure, but it's uh, by the Calbee brand. Um, obviously these are cheese crisps, um, I guess that's Edam, and it's kind of melting, which is a bit weird because don't really think cheese melts like that. And some cheddar, and again that's kind of melting which is a bit weird because cheddar doesn't really melt like that uh, and these will be crinkle cut crisps and can't really tell you what's going on on the back but thankfully the cheese has stopped melting in that weird funny way that cheese doesn't melt um, and everything else is in Japanese so I really can't help you well let's open these up and see if they are melting inside Okay, so I opened the packet up and here's a few of the crisps. Uh, quite small but nicely formed um, and quite a nice golden colour. Uh, I've complained that some of the Japanese crisps have been rather pale, but these are quite nice and golden. Let's try it. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. These really are terrific. These are extremely crunchy. These, I think, are the crunchiest crinkle cut crisps I've ever eaten. That's a five out of five for crunchiness. That's incredible. Fantastic. Um, the potato's nice. That's a four out of five. Um, the cheese flavour, yeah, it's good actually. It's really cheesy. Um, it's obviously a blend of cheeses. Um, I love it. Uh, four out of five. Uh, munchability, five out of five. Um, the 50 grams in this packet will go straight down. Really like that. Five out of five. Value-wise, not bad. These were about £1.20. Crisps are expensive here. Um, so I'll give that, ooh, let's give it a three out of five. Overall, this is a four and a half out of five. These are the best crisps I've had in Japan so far. If you can find Kalbi, whatever that says, give it a try. You will not regret it. Well done, Kalbi. Four out of five.